you're probably wondering, why do you have all this stuff in front of you? And why aren't you in a kitchen doing this? Well, there are two reasons for that. One, my family, I'm not really like comfortable being around my family filming all this. I'd rather just do it here. I have a nice little setup here. Two, I have these tables here, so I could do it in here. So why not? Today is Friday, so I decided not to get dressed up. I wanted to be comfortable, so here I am in my cute matching pajamas with my Jack Skellington hat. And today, we are going to be making a cocktail from items that I have in my fridge. Because I had COVID, I don't feel comfortable going out unless I absolutely have to. So what I decided to do was I made a challenge for myself to make a cocktail with whatever I had in my fridge. I put up suggestions on my social media for what I should do for my next video. And one of my friends commented and she suggested making a tutorial for a drink cocktail. My signature go-to drink that I like to make all year round is sangria. So my friends and family know I like to dabble in that. Red and I dabble with white, but I mostly do like white and green apple. What I wanted to do was I wanted to see if I could make a white sangria with whatever I found in my fridge. I'm going to be using this peach wine that I got up in Pennsylvania. It looks like this. I'm going to be using Carlo Rossi Moscato Sangria. This stuff is really good and so is the pink one. I'm going to be using a little bit of apple brandy. I'm going to be using Crystal Skull Vodka. Some apple juice, a little bit of OJ. Some of this peach juice and these peach slices. And a splash of this green goodness juice. It has apple, pineapple, mango, banana, and kiwi in it. So I figured just a little bit might go a long way. Now I got my handy dandy pitcher here. I got a glass that was in the freezer. So basically it's, I got this in the summer. It's a glass that you just throw in the freezer and it's basically got ice in it already. So the glass is pretty cool. I don't have the strainer in it because I really didn't see a point in putting it in. Another thing is I don't have a trash can in front of me so this is going to be really fun. To start I think I'm just going to throw these peach cups into the glass. I figured three would be enough. I was going to also mix in the pear cups too but I didn't want to. I'm going to take these three cups and just dump them in here. Uh, oh, got a little bit of the juice on me. Wonderful. All right, so all three of the peach cups. I'm going to take my garbage and put it over here for now. And then I'm going to start by dumping the alcohol in. So I'm going to take this whole bottle and just dump it in. My friends and my fiance make fun of me because I don't know how to measure things. I won't be able to give you exact measurements, but you'll see what it looks like as I'm doing it. Now I'm gonna take this peach one and I'm gonna throw that in there. All right, looks like we're getting pretty full already. 
this is going to be fun. And the best part is, I still can't taste and smell. <laughs> so this will be even more fun to try to decipher what this tastes like when I can't taste it. But hopefully it's good. We'll see. I'm going to mix it up already because we haven't added in the juice yet. But I want to mix up whatever wine I have in there at the moment. I'm just going to give this a good stir. Okay. Now, for the brandy, I have my little handy dandy shot glass measuring cup with me. I am going to measure out shots. So that's about one shot. That's two shots. I usually do about four shots of brandy. Because I don't want to go overboard with the brandy. So I'm just going to mix that again. So I'm going to take my cute crystal skull. Ooh. He's been in the freezer for a little bit. Oof, that definitely smells like vodka. I can smell it a little bit, but not a lot. So I'm going to take two shots of vodka and throw it in there because I don't want to go overboard with that. This isn't flavored vodka. This is just straight vodka. So trying to go overboard with that. I threw two shots of vodka, four shots of brandy, two full bottles of wine. And now I'm just going to take a splash of apple juice. I wish I had some apple slices I could throw in here, but again, like I said, I'm not trying to take chances going out if I don't have to. Even though this doesn't have pulp in it, I'm still going to shake it anyway because it's orange juice and I'm used to shaking it. I was going to throw this tangerine in there, but I think that's going to be too much acid with this, so I'm just going to throw orange juice in. Just a splash of that. As you can see now, it is no longer clear. <laughs> it's got more of a, it's got more of a opaque, or it's not opaque, is what I meant to say. And then, I want to throw a little bit of this in there. Not a lot, just a little bit. I'm going to just shake this bad boy up. And I'm going to take my little measuring cup again, and I'm going to measure out a shot. I might throw two shots of that in there. Ooh, you see that green crap in there now? Ooh. Yeah, I don't want to go overboard with that either because I don't know how that's going to taste in there, so I think two shots of that will be just good. Now it looks dark. It doesn't look as dark on the camera, but looking at it like outside of the camera, it looks kind of dark. So I'm going to throw a little more juice in there because I did throw quite a bit of alcohol in there, so I kind of want to balance out the juices a little bit, especially since I threw that whole thing of peach wine in there and those three cups of peach juice. So I'm kind of going to try to balance it out and make it a little more not so peach. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the apple juice and a little bit of the orange juice. And I'm going to add a little more of that in there. Swirl it around. And cap it. Be very gentle 
when capping it so that it doesn't overflow. Lastly, we are going to taste the product to see if it's any good. This is going to be fun because I can't really taste anything, but bottoms up. the alcohol. Not a lot, but I can taste it. And I get a little bit of the tanginess from the orange juice. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I usually try to mix it up every time I make a white sangria. I don't use the same wines. I try to do different ones. I do like to use this Moscato though. I think it's really good. It's Carlo Rossi Moscato Sangria. I know it's a little bright, but I use that sangria usually for my white or there is a Valenzano red, white, and blue sangria, but they have a white sangria one also, and I use that white sangria one too, but I use the red one also when I'm doing reds. I like to switch, I switch up the wines I use normally. And if I do a green apple sangria, I like to use Smirnoff apple, but I don't have Smirnoff apple, and I don't have apples. So, I threw a little bit of apple juice and a little Crystal Skull vodka. This video was kind of short, but I hope you enjoyed it. Next time, let me know what you want to see me make. If you want me to continue doing these drink videos, I would love to. I found a few recipes online for things I'd love to try. So if you want to see me try to make cocktails, like different cocktails, besides sangria, let me know. And until next time, thanks for watching guys. See you soon.